All right, page six. So what we have here, um, we actually uh, calculated the area of this uh, previously using top minus bottom. But this time it says given y is equal to the natural log of x and y is equal to x minus 2, what we want to do is find the area of the shaded region with respect to y. So here it tells you specifically what they're looking for, which means if I want you to do this with respect to y, you actually need to show me the setup, which means you're going to have to rearrange all of your equations and they have to be in the proper format. So my suggestion to you is first, determine which function is on the right and which function is on the left, then do your rearranging, because otherwise you're not going to recognize these functions when you put them in x equals in terms of y. So what this right here means is that your integral is going to be a dy integral, okay? And your equations have to be in x equals something format. So this right here is really important so that you remember and understand when it says with respect to y, this is going to be your setup. Now, the other thing here is that we've calculated the bounds, but we calculated the bounds with respect to x. When you are calculating the bounds with respect to y, when you go from bottom to top, which axis is that? It is your y axis, so you need your y values. So the first thing that we want to determine is which function is on the right and which function is on the left. Because remember, it's going to be right minus left. So I'm looking at these two. Um, this one right here, I'll just highlight this one in green. And I'll highlight the other one in orange so that we can just state which one's which. Okay, is the green the linear or the natural log? Yeah, it's the linear. So that's the green one. So that means the orange is the natural log. So I'll highlight this up here in orange. Okay, so that means when you're looking at this, even though a top minus bottom looks more obvious, you're being told that you have to do this as right minus left. Which function is on the right? The line or the natural log? The line. The line. So under my R, I'm going to write y is equal to x minus 2. This is the one that's on the right. Okay? So that means the other one, y is equal to the natural log of x, has to be on the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our calculators first. Whoa. Okay, and if we have anything in y equals, we're going to clear those out. I need to find my bounds. And when I find my bounds, I want to find the y values for those points of intersection before we focused on the x's. Now, because this is with respect to y, we want to find the y values. Those are going to be our bounds. So let's put our functions in here, um, x minus 2 and natural log of x. We have to change our window. Actually, this is the window that I had before. I don't even know if it's the right one, but I'm just going to hit graph and see what happens. There's my line. Oh, boom. That's good. So if you want to see what my window was, that was my window. It just so happens that I left it in there, I guess, from last time. Okay, so remember, if you don't have this, what do you do to figure it out? Just play with it, right? Just kind of figure it out. See, graph it first and see what you're looking for. See if it matches the picture. Is everybody okay? Yes, sir. Isn't there a zoom fit option in zoom that fits the function? So um, remember we had that one curve. To use zoom fit, it would have to be something that goes way outside the bounds. So when we had the sine function and then there was another curve that we had where the sine function went like this and it went all the way across the negative 10 to 10, zoom fit's not going to work for that. So zoom fit would work for something that went outside the bounds, like maybe the intersection was at, was at like 36 or something. So it just depends on your function. So you can try zoom fit. It's not going to hurt you. Zoom fit. If it doesn't work, then you just go back to zoom six and then you start messing with the axes. What I try to look at here is, okay, I know I'm going to need some negatives for y and definitely only the positives for x, but because there's no scale on here, I kind of try to play with it a little bit and just sort of see where I am. And then your comfort zone is really going to be in how big your graph is and what you like. Does that make sense? So it's going to be different for a lot of people. So what I need to do is find my points of intersection. So we're going to go into second trace and we want option five. So um, since I'm already up here and it doesn't really matter, I'm just going to hit enter, enter, enter. Okay, so there is this point of intersection right here. But last time we dealt with this value. 
Because we are dealing with respect to y, I want my y value. So that means up here, this is 1.1461. Does everyone understand why, W-H-Y, I chose the y, letter y? Y is in yes? <coughs> Check. Okay. Uh, so now I need to find the other point of intersection. Second trace, 5, but now I need to move down here. Enter, 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 enter. Okay. Can you guys confirm with me because I hit enter so many times I don't know if I got it right. That's right? Okay. So this is negative 1.8414. Okay, so before I continue, bounds, check. Right side, check. Left side, check. Now the problem is, look at my equation. Is it in the right form? It is not. So now I need to solve for x. So that's why with respect to y, sometimes it's not better. It's only better if it's already solved for you. Make sense? Okay. All right, so here, how do I solve for x? Okay, I just add 2. X is equal to Y plus 2. Okay, that wasn't so bad. So we said on the right is going to be our green, true? So I'm going to highlight this in green, just so I remember. Okay, now, this is going to take me a little bit more. I need to solve for X. It is trapped by the natural log. How do I get E? Yes, exponentiate both sides. So when I do that, it gives me e to the y is equal to e to the natural log of x, which means x is equal to e to the y. <coughs> okay, questions on how we got those? It wasn't so bad. A little bit of algebra. Okay, now I need my setup. So I'd be looking for the integral. So the first thing I'm going to do is write this as the integral from where to where. Negative 1.8414 to 1.1461. Bottom to top. Check. Now it's right minus left. And because I did some manipulation, I know what my right is. I know what my left is. I labeled them. This is important. So now I just need to write this as the quantity of y plus 2 minus e to the y. What goes right here? dy. Okay, at this point, this is my integral. These are my bounds. I got good stuff here. So in an FRQ, folks, this is worth a lot of points. Okay, they're looking for the bounds. They're looking for the correct setup. And you know what they're really looking for? DY. You got that straight. You got it. Now, when we go into our calculator, I know that we only have an X key. Right at this point, because the setup and the equations have all been manipulated, this y is just a variable. It doesn't matter what you use. J, K, P, M, N, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm just going to use what I know, x. Okay, so we're going to type this in. Everybody ready? So we've got alpha window, option 4, uh, negative 1.8414. Go up to the top, 1.1461. And now I'm going to type this in. Parentheses. Mm, X plus 2. Minus E to the X. And the E is to the left of the 4. Okay, you got to hit second. <coughs> and I am going to put DX because that's my variable. But because I've manipulated the equation, it's no longer the same as these two that are up here in the actual body of the question. I'm going to press enter. 1.949. Uh, I don't have it in front of me. Can someone go back a couple pages and take a look for this graph and tell me, is this what we got? Yes, Jordan says yes. What is it at the top of page four? Is that four? Yeah. Top of page four. Okay, it's the same problem. We did it. Uh, top minus bottom and right minus left. It's the same area, right? Doesn't matter. Okay, questions? Yes, sir? Is it possible that for a vertical problem we will be given an x equals equation instead of... Yes, it equal. might already be set up for you. And then to find the points of intersection, you just have to put it in here to find yeah, it. Yeah. The 
thing we did last class. Oh, meaning with respect to x versus yeah. with respect to y? Anything's possible. Anything's possible. You just need to make sure. Um, a lot of times with respect to x, they already give it to you in y equals. That's why a lot of people like with respect to x because it's the easier one. So you guys had homework problems where it said find this with respect to x. Most of those were kind of set up for you. Now, if you have to do the same problems with respect to y, you got to change the equation. Yeah. We, the homework was only the a problems, right? It said, I don't know, it was on the calendar. It said, like, with respect to x. So that was just the a I guess so, yeah. Okay. Uh, because you didn't know how to do, I, I'm assuming b said with respect to y? Yeah, I did. OK, That's why yeah. yeah, check. Mm -hmm. OK, everybody, good with the first problem. Second problem, OK. So here it says use your calculator to find the area of region R. So if I'm not mistaken, um, if you go back a couple pages, you have this exact problem. But we had to find the region that was with respect to what? X. Well, it was with respect to x, and it was region S. That is true. OK, so now we need to clearly say, what is my right <coughs> and what is my left? And this is based on the picture. So which function is on the right? Y is equal to 2 minus x cubed, correct? So that means my left is the tangent of x. Y is equal to the tangent of x. And then I also need bounds from bottom. So what's my bottom bound? Zero. And then I need to figure out my top bound. But what value am I going to use, my x or my y? My y. OK, so here's the deal. The first thing we want to do is go into our calculators, into y equals, because I need to graph this and find the bounds. I'm going to put in 2 minus x cubed OK, and the tangent of x. And because I'm a little bit lazy and I just I don't really want to change my bounds too much, I'm going to hit graph and see what happens. It might be enough for me to just, because really, what do I need this for? What am I using it for? Well, why am I graphing it? I forget. Oh, I just need the bound. So can I see the point of intersection? So luckily, I don't need to change my window. This is the point of intersection that I'm looking for. This is my region R right here. So I'm going to go into second trace, uh, option five. So I need to find my cursor for, oh, there it is. Enter, enter, enter. OK, which value do I care about, 0.9 or 1 point? one point whatever this is so in this case y is equal to 1.2657 okay because what's the other point of intersection you guys already told me it's zero okay so I have my bounds bottom to top what's the next thing I need to do yeah I need to write this in x equals so let's do which one's easier right or left I mean okay someone said left how do I change this how do I solve for x do I divide by tan? No. What do you do? Oh, inverse. OK. So x is equal to inverse tangent of y. Done, right? OK, now what? Here. First thing. <coughs> Subtract 2. Sure. y minus 2 is equal to negative x cubed. Next. The negative. Yeah, it's there. What do I do with it? Oh, multiply or divide, right? It doesn't matter. So then we have, I'm just going to write it like this. x cubed is equal to 2 minus y. Whoa, that's a y. And then take the cube root. So we have x is equal to the quantity of 2 minus y to the 1 third power. Done. You can write it as the cubed root, but this is how I'm going to type it into my calculator. OK. Up to this point, is everybody OK? Do you understand what we're doing? We have our bounds. We now have our equations in terms of x equals so that we can integrate with respect to y. We know which one is on the right, and we know which one is on the left. I don't have to figure it out now. So can we write our formula? So the integral from bottom to top, okay? <coughs> and then it's right minus left. So it's a quantity of 2 minus y to the 1 third power minus the inverse tangent of y dy. OK, does this look right? 
Okay, let's go into the calculator. Let's type this in. Okay, option four. So we're going from zero to 1.2657. I've got two minus, I gotta use an x to the one third power minus inverse tangent of x close dx. This is what we got. Okay, this is our solution, 0.7293. Okay, questions? Okay, so we want to find the area bounded by this graph. What is that right here? What kind of graph? What does it look like? Oh, it's a line. Yeah, okay. Y equals zero. What is that? Another line. Y equals zero specifically. It's a special line. It's just the x-axis. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And we want to do this with respect to Y. So first of all, I need to graph. So let me graph something that's already ready for me. Um, negative two. Okay. Up one left. Up one left. Down one right. Okay. So I'm sketching this graph. This is... Uh, not yet. Because what we need to figure out is, first of all, which one is on the right and which one is on the left. Correct? Okay. Uh, this is already solved for x for me, but I need to put it in y equals because I graphed this one in y equals. I can do this quick. What's the first thing I should do? Square both sides. So we have y plus 2 is equal to x squared. Now what? Okay, so we have y is equal to x squared minus 2. What is that? It's a parabola where? Yeah, with a vertex at negative 2. Okay, does everyone see where we got that from? Okay, this is previous knowledge that you should know, so I'm going to graph this in red. So that means, I don't know, I have a point here and here, symmetric, right? And I have a point, what if I plug in 2? So if I plug in 2, this is 2, 2. So then if I plug in negative 2, it's going to be over here. And I'm just trying to figure out symmetry. Okay, so if I were to sketch this graph, this is my way. Just so I can get an idea of what's going on. Is this going to be perfect? No. Okay. Something like this. All right. But then also it says that it's bounded by the y-axis. Or that too. Thanks. <laughs> and my graph is not drawn perfect. Because look it. This should probably have come out a little bit further. Okay. But look here. It's this right here. Okay, it's this and the y and the x axis. I keep saying y axis. Okay, so yep. Okay, you raise your hand, but then you're yeah. So I thought it was like so it says to find the area bounded between y equals square or x equals square and y plus two y equals x. No, this right here is the other one. Y is equal to zero. It's the x-axis. I kept saying y-axis, but I was corrected by Grant both times. So then, yeah. so do you just, like, ignore the You're ignoring parts of the graph because what's happening is, is it's sectioning it, sectioning it off. So what I'm looking at is this actually gives me a bound that is my upper bound. This is important because when you are finding the area, you are going right minus left from bottom to top. What did that uh, y is equal to zero give me? It gave me my top. So what is this right here? My bottom, it's my lower bound. What is on the right side? Which one of these is my right side? The parabola, and then my left side is, okay, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, all right, on my right, um, they gave it to me already. It's x is equal to the square root of y plus 2. They gave it to me in the proper form. I just manipulated it so that I could um, sketch the graph. Okay, so now I need something on my left. But in order to do that, I need to solve this for x, true? Yes? Yeah. All right, so I've got y is equal to negative x minus 2. What do I do first? Uh, sure. y plus 2 is equal to negative x. Divide by a negative 1. So this is x is equal to... I don't know, negative y minus 2 or whatever, factor out of negative, it doesn't matter. But this is on the left side, this is on the right side. And then our bounds, which we figured out from the graph, are equal to what? They're going from negative 2 to 0. Correct? So is my graph, like, perfect? No. Did it give me an idea of what I needed, though? Yeah, I needed those bounds. Okay, so now here's our setup. Area is equal to the integral from negative 2 to 0. We know what's on the right, so you can write it as a radical like this, right? Minus the quantity of negative y minus 2. And this is all dy. So this is your integral. This is your setup, and you need this for your calculator. I'm waiting for you guys. So I actually factored out the negative, like in my head, so minus the negative 1 just made it plus. I try. Okay, does anyone have any questions?